the 16th of February 2023, the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria, Lagos State Chapter, held its annual general meeting and election of new executives into the office of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners Secretariat along CIPM Avenue, Alausa Ikeja, under the able leadership of the outgoing chairman, Town Planner Mrs. Ayo Elegbedin. The event was attended by distinguished guests, including the Permanent Secretary of the Minister of Physical Planning and Urban Development, directors from the Ministry, authorities and agencies, the past General Manager of the Lagos State Physical Planning Permit Authority, LASPA, and the new Town Development Authority, NTDL. Also in attendance were some past chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, Lagos State Chapter, and members of the association. The theme of the discussion was career women, managing work, self, and family. The Cable Plus Property Media Group presented a short story in the Yoruba dialect to explain the theme of the discussion to the audience. The story emphasized the need for women to prioritize their mental and emotional health as well as their relationships with their family members. <laughs> Planner Dr. Mrs. Agama, a principal lecturer from Yaba College of Technology, Yaba, Lagos, further discussed the theme, providing insights on how women can manage their careers and family life without sacrificing one for the other. So women are empowered and allowed to fully build their dreams and earn a living and improve national economy and quality of life. When more women work and the economies grow and they boost productivity, they increase diversification and income you know, equality. We have women who are great. I have you know, women being introduced today as heads of units, okay? That's, that's great. We have women in our society, in our environment, as ministers, as you know, uh, heads of, of our startups, and they are doing great. So the building career for women actually contributes, like I said earlier, to achieving the millennium, uh, the uh, sustainable development goals, which have long replaced the millennium uh, development goals. We have goal one, which is uh, uh, putting an end to poverty. We have goal two, which is talking about zero hunger. Goal three, good health and well-being, gender equality, decent work and economic growth, and reduce inequalities. During the meeting, elections were held to elect the new executive members into office to run the affairs of the association. The elections were conducted peacefully as new executive members were unopposed. Town planner Tao Ajose a fellow of the institute emerged as a new chairperson of the association. In her acceptance speech, town planner Mrs. Tao Ajose expressed her gratitude to the members for the trust they placed in her and pledged to work towards the advancement of the association. Other executive members introduced themselves and their positions. 
The event also witnessed the presentation of awards to some female personalities who had made significant contributions to the field of town planning in Nigeria. They included town planner Mrs. C.K. George, a fellow of the Institute and the first female town planner in Africa, and town planner Mrs. Shunaiki, the first female permanent secretary town planner in the Lagos State Civil Service. The awards which were presented by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Physical Planning and Urban Development were received by their representatives. The Permanent Secretary congratulated the recipients for their outstanding achievements. Other awardees included Town Planner Mrs. Belo Riska, Dr. Mrs. Agama, Town Planner Mrs. Okuyemi A and others. The awardees expressed their appreciation and pledge to continue working towards the advancement of town planning in Nigeria. The association received goodwill messages from well wishers who praised their efforts in promoting the participation of women in the town planning profession. They commended the association for providing a platform for learning, networking, and sharing of ideas. We can also, because we are most of us, especially the town planners, women, it's like we like to queue up <laughs> behind the men. We, we don't want to be independent. We, we don't want to believe that we can be on our own. We can achieve a lot on our own without queuing up beside the men. The town behind the, it's, um, it is even beside. Like I don't usually say a success, a, behind a successful man is a man. Beside a successful man is a woman and beside a successful woman is a man. Let us, let us have this, let us change our mindset that we can do some things without necessarily clean up behind the men. We need the men in our life, quite all right. But let's believe that we can achieve a lot on our own. In an interview with some of the attendees, they expressed their satisfaction with the event, stating that it was a great opportunity for women to come together and discuss issues affecting them in their professional and personal lives. They also commended the association for its efforts in promoting gender equality and providing support for women in the town planning profession. I will try as much as possible. You know, the Mrs. Celebrity has laid down a, a good foundation for me to, 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 to stride. I will try as much as possible to, 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 to ensure the welfare of the, of the women and also you know, allow them to, 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 to showcase themselves, bring in new innovation. You know, when women decide to, to lead, is, we are game changer. I believe I'm bringing it a lot of innovations. I'm happy I have people to take over. When you are retiring and you have a successor, it's a great privilege. If you don't have a successor, then you have not done well. But for people to come and honor you and see you off, it's a great privilege. And I'm grateful to Almighty God for granting me the grace to achieve this level. She has done well because there are a lot, there are a lot of challenges she faced, which I, I am aware of. But uh, she was able to manage the situation. She, she has, God gave her that wisdom to be able to manage the situation. You know. Women, women are the, the most difficult people to, to bring together. This is very um, profitable for us as women to thrive in our profession. So I would also encourage other professions you know, to have their women wing where they can encourage themselves, share uh, experiences and initiatives you know, and co-opt the men into it too to see how they can receive some help okay, and probably mentoring to, to making sure that the women can over time compete with them side by side. In conclusion, the annual general meeting and election of new executive officers into the office of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria Lagos State Chapter was a resounding success with insightful discussions. The events demonstrated the association's commitment to promoting the advancement of women in the town planning profession and their contributions to the development of the country. It also provided a platform for networking and sharing ideas among women in the profession. This report was brought to you by the Cable Plus Property Media Group. 
For more on all issues related to land and landed property, kindly check us on our YouTube page and other social media at Cable Plus Property.